Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over some dank memes from the Dank Memes from Site 19 subreddit. Let's get started. The first one is a shoulder meme. Finding an SCP article tagged with a GOI you like. They're only a passing mention. Yeah, this happens a lot more often than people would expect. Uh, the tagging system is not exactly a perfect way to determine the content of the article that you're reading, which it's not really what it's for. It's more of a classification system. Um, there is sort of a question among some people as to whether or not the tagging system should be about navigation or if it should be purely for technical use. Uh, I really do feel like it's more useful as a navigation tool, and I think a lot of people tend to agree with that, so I don't know why I'm saying it like it's not a not a popular opinion, but at the same time, it's not an opinion shared by everybody. Um, tagging is extraordinarily useful in a lot of technical ways, for sure. I'm not saying that it should be a non-technical thing, but if I want to find an article that heavily includes, say, Marshall Carter and Dark, which is my favorite group of interest, um, it should be significantly easier to do so. <laughs> Of course, these days, if I want to write, if I want to read an article that has uh, Marshall Carter and Dark in it, I just write one myself. My friend, me explaining to my friend the entirety of SCP lore. You know, I've seen a lot of memes similar to this in one way or another. Um, I don't personally, by the this meme is by uh, Dude with Hat. I don't personally actually bother explaining the SCP Foundation or its lore to other people. Like, that seems silly to me to even try. Um, of course, I don't care about sharing the things I enjoy with other people in my life. Uh, so maybe that's more of a me thing than a, <laughs> than a, than a, than a general thing. Uh, I just don't really feel the need to explain it. Like, if people are like, what do you do for a living? I'm like, well, I make videos about uh, a writing website. Well, what's the website about? Ah, it's complicated. And that's the end of the, that's the end of it. If somebody tries to follow up with you and you go, eh, it's complicated, they're the problem. Sky Scientist, WikiTut, 2000s era code, the SCP Wiki. You know, what the... The problem I have with this is that it's not even actually connected to... I mean, I, I get the joke, kind of. It's not actually even connected, because those are anvils. Not anvils, grindstones. And uh, grindstones don't actually fully connect to each other. But even if they did, uh, and you broke it, it's Minecraft. That box would still float. There's no physics. This is an imperfect... This is an imperfect uh, example. This doesn't actually describe... <laughs> supposed to describe because it's not nearly as fragile or destructible as the actual scp wiki is <laughs> oh man yeah no i mean the scp wiki is indeed despite what this may uh literally show uh hanging on by a string so i, I do get the point of it at least uh the the big issue is, of course, that um, there's not really a whole lot that can be done about it. Uh, other than move, it's, I, I've talked about this all the time. Wiki jump, I don't honestly, I honestly just don't think it's ever going to get finished. Because here's what happens. Here, here's what always seems to happen. You get someone in there who is extremely good at the at, at all of the things you need to be good at in order to make a website. You get that person in there, uh, and then they have to do it on volunteer hours because they've got a regular job where they code, and probably a lot of times they're doing the things that they would be doing for the SCP Wiki. Then during their off time, they have to take time away from writing, if that's what they wanted, went to the Wiki for, or reading, which is maybe what they went to the Wiki for, and instead just make a website like they do at their day job, but for free. Now, Enthusiasm and inspiration are not endless reservoirs, and a website is a huge project, at least a good website, I should say, with all the features that they would like to include. Uh, it's actually a huge project, right? So it, you know, they'll, they'll set themselves roadmaps and be like, it'll take one to two to three years or whatever, because they're doing it in their off time. So they can't dedicate their full, you know, they can't get it done in three months, which is 
possible. You could get a website up in three months that has the functionalities they want, but you'd need a few, maybe one or two, maybe three people who are getting paid to do it full time. Uh, and we don't do that. We have volunteers doing it in their off time. Then it takes a year, it takes two years, it takes three years, and that person who was extremely excited and enthusiastic about doing it in the first place isn't anymore. And they've been slowing down considerably over time because they've been losing that enthusiasm over time. So, like, they got an initial rush of, you know, we're definitely getting this done, it's definitely, and then, and then nothing. I don't know if the SCP Wiki is ever going to get wiki jump finished but i really hope so like like i keep get it's it's funny because it's almost it's been a year or two away ever since like 2008 uh, <laughs> and and i mean people have tried to convince me and talk to me and i i have to believe them because like you know they i'm sure they believe it it's going to happen soon tm but it never does. It never does. I've been here long enough to be extremely, uh, to be extremely skeptical when someone says that Wiki Jump or that we're going to go to our own website in, uh, you know, in 2023, our own website. In 2024, our own website. It's always a year off. It's always a year, maybe two years if they're being optimistic or being a little pessimistic about it. But it's never, it's never now. One day, which is funny because the SCP, the w Russian branch of the SCP Wiki, uh, managed to make their own website in uh, record time. I think they were probably working on it a little bit before they actually were forced to move by uh, Wikidot's policies, where they banned Russian users. Either way, yeah. Datto's next client, for the love of God, Datto. <laughs> for once, don't take what I say literally, like everyone else you dealt with. <laughs> How to make talk pill talk into pill that gets God's love. Um, yeah, I, I do actually honestly think this, uh, this, uh, art, this, uh, meme is by Stormbringer05-5. Um, I really do think this could be a fun idea that I don't really have a lot of comments other than that. I think, uh, I think honestly doing a, a Datto article where Datto doesn't screw up the object and gives them exactly what they want, but that is still bad could be great. Uh, but more, more, more importantly, I think this could be a really good article. Uh, Weirdosaurus. I like the GOC because they are an interesting contender to the Foundation, a unique organization with its own motives and means, its existence and actions as a major faction, both good and bad, uh, help make the SCP world bigger and more developed. You like the GOC because you still think that all anomalies should be killed and destroyed. We are not the same. I mean, aren't you a little bit, though? Like, I, I know the whole point of this meme is a little bit that, like, two people who necessarily, who agree on something don't necessarily um, agree on everything. Uh, part of what makes the GOC an interesting, like, their main functional difference, and this is more legacy, because there's new versions of everything that comes out eventually, but... The thing about the GOC that makes them, like, substantively different than the SCP Foundation is essentially their attitude towards the exploitation and or destruction of anomalies. Straight up. Like, why would you keep an anomaly around if it could possibly escape and hurt people? Just get rid of it. They don't... A lot of modern interpretations, they don't just get rid of all anomalies. They get rid of the dangerous ones, though. The ones the SCP Foundation would try and keep alive. Although, if we're talking legacy, even the SCP Foundation has limits on that. Uh, in the modern version of the SCP Foundation, they really don't try to destroy anything. They, they want to research it and understand it better before uh, they put it away in a box for forever. Uh, but the GOC, on the other hand, like their fundamentally defining trait is... That they're willing to destroy, uh, they're willing to destroy priceless, unique things in the universe just to make sure that normalcy is protected. And I don't know, they get to define normalcy however they want, but it's an extremely, um, I want to say authoritarian view. Like each of the GOC and the SCP Foundation both have their own versions of authoritarianism because they're both enforcing uh, uh, the status quo. And like, I mean, enforcing the status quo, 
<laughs> this isn't a matter of like vaguely supporting it. Like they kill people, put people in boxes, all to just to preserve the an idea that happens to be the current version of reality for people. Like if you go back 150 years, the idea of magic exists. Er, go back a hundred years, the idea of magic existing is it, it, it's not the norm, but it wouldn't also like surprise people. Which is an interesting way to look at the world, uh, and but the but now we're in the modern day. When, when did they decide what? The, when did the, you know? This is a really good question, and maybe this is something that could be explored in a story. It's a little off topic, so I'll try to keep it brief. But when did the GOC and the Foundation decide to set the norms? I mean, even today, people believe in magic. Even today, people believe in, in like, that, you know, Bigfoot exists and the Loch Ness Monster exists and all these other things. At what? But if you go back further, it becomes more and more and more normalized. So it's not that they're trying to preserve a sense of, quote unquote, normalcy. Like, what is and isn't normal is defined over generations. What they're doing is actually they've they're moving the world towards science and reason gosh that's an interesting take because that's what they're doing i'm sorry i've given myself a story idea but it is sort of what the SU foundation is doing they're not protecting normalcy they're not protecting some general sense of it they are actually they're actually pushing the world towards their idea of what normalcy should be huh anyway that's it <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on the next time I make a video. I'm trying to space them out a little bit because I'm getting a little a little bit burned out and I don't want to stay I don't I don't want I don't want to I don't want to give up on this thing, but I want to give myself a little bit of a leeway. I'm probably going to do another video before the end of the month though. Peace out.